Hi guys, welcome to day three of my 10 day guitar starter course where we're checking out the easy three chord song Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. So we've already covered the chords needed to play this song, the E, the A chord and the D chord. If you haven't checked out those chords yet, please do check out day one or two of this course where we'll cover those chords in depth. And let's get straight in for a close up now for how to play Three Little Birds by Bob Marley. So the chorus of this song should be very easy for most of you guys watching this video. We want to change between the A chord and the D chord. So very similar to what we did in day two of this 10 day guitar starter course. We just have the E major chord in the verse, but the chorus, so this first chord sequence is two bars of the A chord. And if I just strummed on the beat, that would go one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Then we change to the D and then back to a bar of A. So two A's, one bar of D, one bar of A. Just a demo first of all. Don't worry about a thing Cause every little thing is gonna be alright and that repeats twice and then we get on to a verse. Let's try with this one because it is very similar to what we did in day two. Let's try doing something we call eighth strumming and we're gonna do this all with down strum. So essentially for one bar rather than strumming four times we're going to strum eight and twice as fast. That looks like this, that's how we split the bar up now. One and two and three and four and because we have to in music, we can't just count to eight, we have to always count to four and count the off beats as and. So one and, two and, three and, four and. One bar of A would therefore sound like one and, two and, three and, four and. So because this should be fairly easy for you, let's go straight for this harder strumming, get stuck into this easy song. And if you want to play along with me, I will shout out the changes for you, but we're strumming it around this tempo. One and two and three and four and. So ready on our A chord, everyone. Let's give this a go in two and three and four. One and two and three and about a thing to change to the D, cause every little two and three back to an A chord. Two and three and four and. Let's have one more go at that same line because it happens twice for this chorus. Three and four. Don't worry. Two and three and about a thing. And two and three and D because every little thing. Back to an A. A and two four and. Now we need that to happen twice straight away on the bounce. If the change was a little hard to you, just pause the video briefly to do some individual changes. Strumming the A chord, changing to the D. Give it a strum, change back to the A. If you're unfamiliar with this change, check out day two where I explain how to play these chords in depth and why we're playing this version of an A rather than the three in a line A that some of you may be more familiar with. The idea is this anchor finger, basically. So let's go for this one more time. We're basically going for the same line again, but we're going straight for both lines. And I'll kind of sing the chorus so you get an idea of how it all fits together. Then we'll learn the verse. So same again, two and three and four. Don't worry, two and three, about a thing. Two and three to a D chord. Every little thing back to an A chord there. And two, we stay on the A. Don't worry. Two and three and four a thing. And two and three to a D. Cause every little thing back to an A. And two and three and four and. Perfect. 
That is how to play the chorus. We then have a verse, which is this next section I'm about to show you, and then we go back to a chorus. Typical song structure usually starts with a verse, then goes to chorus, verse, chorus, but this one starts straight away with the chorus, which is why we did that first. The verse, a little bit trickier, because we do also change to this E chord, but we're gonna start off with the A. I'll just give you a little demo of it first. Rise up this morning. Smile with the rising sun Three little A chords Then to a D chord So that's the first line. The second line is really similar, but we're going to change... Every chord here is for a bar. A, E, A, and D. The way I kind of like to think about it with these chord sequences is A chord is kind of in the middle. So then we come to the thicker strings, go back to the middle, and then to D, which is on the thinner strings for this one. So if you remember middle, thicker strings, middle, then high, it can be easier than trying to remember the letter names. Remember what your fingers are doing to remember a longer chord sequence and it helps you visualize it. So let's play this together. I'll shout out the chord sequence, but it's also on the screen for you if you need it. From the A chord, Straight for eighth strumming. I'm sure you can do this, guys. Keep keep going with me. Two and three and four and morning. Smile with the rising sun. Three and two and A. A chord two and three and then a D chord two and three and. Pause there. Let's go one more time for that one, guys. Really good if you've kept up with that, but let's do it one more time to make sure. In two and three and rise up this morning. E chord. E chord two and three and A chord there. And two and three on my doorstep. Two and three and four and... And then it's almost the same, but the D and the A chord are swapped around for the last two bars. So it's a bar of A, E, straight to a D chord, and then back to A. So it's just the last two chords swapped around. It's on the screen for you. Let's try and go for this straight away from the A chord, the second line. Three and four and. E chord, pure and true. D chord, bigger change. Let's give this a bit more time. There we go, D chord. This is a message to A chord. You. And then we would be straight into the chorus, but we're just gonna go for that one one more time. So let's go for the whole thing, the whole verse. I'll shout out each chord as it comes to you, and we'll pause a little bit on the changes to make sure everyone can keep up. From the A chord, top of the verse, in two and three and rise up this morning, two and three and four. E chord, rising sun and three, three little A chord, A. Then to a D, on my doorstep, two and three. Back to an A chord, second line, sweet song, with melodies, E chord, pure and true. D chord this time, sing in D. This is a message to A, A, and that's the end of our verse. So to have a full playthrough now, we want to play through the chorus, come to the verse, and then end on that chorus. And that is absolutely plenty for this song, but there is another couple of verses as well if you want to keep that pattern going. It's always the same, even if the lyrics change in a verse, it's the same chord sequence, so your count is the same. Let's have a playthrough then, full playthrough from the top now. I'll sing a little bit, but I'll also shout out the chords to make it easy for you. Join in with me from your A chord, straight into a chorus, in one, two, three, and four. Don't worry, two, three. A bass stay on the A chord. Then it's a D, 
go plus D chord Back to an A A Two Three Start again, don't worry Second line About a thing Two and three to a D Cause every little thing Is back to an A Back to an A Verse Rise up this morning to Smile, E chord, rising sun, three, A chord, birds, two and three, then to a D, D and two and three, singing, A chord, two and three, four, pure and true, three, D chord this time, bigger change is a message to A chord, two. Three chorus, chorus, don't worry. Two and three, and about a thing. Two, three, four, cause every little thing. Three and four, and one, and two, and three, and they tell me don't worry. Last line now. About a thing. Two and three, and D, cause every little thing. Gonna be alright. Two and three and four and. So that's how to play Three Little Birds, and that is the end of this day three of this 10 day guitar starter course. If you haven't checked out days one and two, please do, especially day two. We've got a little melody with that one, and I'll teach you how to play Born in the USA by Bruce Springsteen. But if you've already done those, you can practice this three little birds and then get straight on. Join me tomorrow for day four, where we'll be checking out an easy riff with these three chords. And a riff is very short and recognizable. So you're gonna wanna join me tomorrow uh, for day four of this 10 day guitar starter course. Please subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sure the playlist is findable over there or in the description to find the rest of the lessons in this course. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon guys. Take care of yourselves and bye for now.